just on a conceptual uh, note if i have to uh, understand the value at risk typically it is uh, one more measure of investment risk or for that matter uh, any kind of a risk where the focus is on the downside risk and to a large extent it assumes that the output follows a kind of a normal distribution the returns they follow a kind of a normal distribution and what it talks of is the potential minimum loss what is the kind of uh, potential minimum loss that can occur over a given time period daily monthly weekly whatever it is with a given level of confidence so if i am looking at the returns are following a kind of a normal distribution probably uh, if i say that this is going to be 95% then it means that <coughs> the the potential minimum loss is going to be this much means the loss could be more than this much the loss could be more than this particular amount only 5% <coughs> with a 5% chance but with 95% chance the loss uh, would be lesser than this itself during a particular time period so probably when i am saying <coughs> the 95% daily var is 1000 bucks or 5% daily var is 1000 bucks what does that mean the minimum loss is going to be 1000 on a daily basis and i can say that with 5% confident which is other way of saying there is a 5% chance that on a daily basis the loss is going to be 1000 or more so it uh, is a measure which primarily assesses the potential minimum loss over a given time period with a certain level of confidence with the decided level of confidence so in the definition of var three elements have to come into picture one is the time period two the confidence level and three the amount of loss so these three need to be uh, specified because whatever is the amount that is specified what we say is during that specific time period the chance for the loss to be more than that particular number is going to be a uh, uh, is going to be a uh, one minus that confidence level itself and to a large extent in large kind of scenarios uh, the that the general the basic value at risk calculation assumes that the underlying distribution of the returns follows a normal curve and uh, because the normal distribution is defined only by its uh, mean and the variance uh, the manipulation become more and more easier and the calculations of var become more easier using this uh, normally distributed kind of approach but in case the returns in reality do not follow a normal distribution which means they are more and more skewed or they exhibit different layers of kurtosis uh, in the sense they are fat tailed kind of distributions then probably this assumption of normality of the returns does not hold true which means the var that we are calculating under the assumption of the normality also gets very badly violated so these are some of the things uh, which we need to be uh, comfortable with uh, 
as a part of the basic properties of var and uh, the kind of a distribution that var looks at for its computation all right